there was a woman who had no amygdala. She could not feel fear. Fortunately, actually went through some horrific events in her life. She was put in yeah. at knife point. point. And she was never scared. No. The only way that they could actually induce fear was through CO2. CO2 reliably provokes anxiety in humans. Your blood becomes more acidic. It triggers a suffocation alarm in the amygdala, the fear center. If you give people seven to seven and a half percent CO2, it acutely raises anxiety. And if you give people a single breath of 35% CO2, literally one breath triggers a panic attack. People with anxiety disorder will hyperventilate to try mm -hmm. and blow off carbon dioxide right. to avoid that. And that causes a whole negative feedback loop of other issues of over-breathing. When you train yourself to be flexible as your carbon dioxide fluctuates in your blood, it is Jedi mind training, and it is also physiological training for your body to breathe better over the course of the day, which then in turn makes you less anxious.